Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are packing for a trip. I'm going on a girls trip with my friends from college. So I thought I would take you guys along the packing process today. Also, this video is sponsored by City. I am a proud City Custom Cash MasterCard holder and the opinions expressed here are my own. So we are getting started. I cleaned my suitcase. I don't really wanna pack like outfit by outfit in this case. I kinda wanna just do like a hodgepodge of things. I'm also like gonna be going about my day and stuff today too. I have to run some errands and whatever. So I'm just gonna do it like leisurely at my own pace. Also think we might have to run out to the store in a little bit because there are some like toiletry items I forgot. So let's just tackle this together. Let me know if you guys have like a strategy when you pack or if it's kind of just like it happens. For me, it just kind of happens. So let's get it going. Okay, so this is kind of like phase one of what I'm gonna do and what I do is just pulling items that I know I'm gonna want on the trip, visualizing it all on my like clean bed, you know? So like I have a little workout set here cause you know, someone mentioned hiking. So we have that. My underwear is all under there, don't mind that. I have this new top in my closet that I've been meaning to wear, so I have that over there. I have this new sweater I've been meaning to wear, I have that over there. I guess I have some more like athleisure, pajamas, I have socks. So I'm just starting to take out things that I know I'm gonna want. Like I have these two cute crop tanks, maybe I'll bring those. Cute little sweat set here, a lot of comfy. I need to bring some more nicer stuff, I guess, too. So far I have two pairs of pajamas two workout sets, bunch of shoes, some booties, some hiking shoes, and then just like white like tennis shoes, sneakers, whatever you wanna call them. Also to that side of the suitcase, I'm gonna add like my sweatshirts and stuff. It's gonna be colder than I expected on this trip. So I definitely wanna keep that in mind and make sure I'm warm. I always am cold. This sweatshirt kind of goes with the workout set. Do you guys roll your clothes when you pack? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I definitely feel like it saves space, but I feel like then visually I lose like looking at my clothes and then I can't see what I actually brought. I will roll, I'll show you what it's looking like after. Also bringing just like a generic sweat set because for lounging and I can wear the pieces both separately, which I like. I'm gonna bring a scarf, even though it seems like we're a little, you know, out of season for scarves now as it's warming up. Not for this trip, so. I am bringing that. Bringing a curler to do my hair, but this is something that I do. When I travel, I like to just do my hair like the first day and like keep it straight or something. So I showered and I just like blew it straight. And then maybe like halfway through the trip or something, I'll use some dry shampoo and I'll curl my hair. So, but for like the first few days, I'll just keep it straight like this. Just a little, a little tip. I don't, cause I don't want to have to bring like a whole thing of shampoo, conditioner, whatever. Like it's not worth it to me. There's really no method to this packing. I brought my film camera and film in here. just quickly ran out to the drugstore to pick up some things that I forgot slash like last minute things you know like we love a good like pre-trip like run to the store and recently my top spend category with my city custom cash mastercard is drugstores so I'm actually getting rewarded for the spending that I'm doing at drugstores so this is something that I was already gonna do but I'm getting like rewarded for where I'm already doing my spending the city custom cash mastercard automatically adjusts to your spending so you don't have to go in and change anything it just knows that drugstores is my top category this building cycle I'm earning five percent cash back on my top L spending category that's up to $500 spent each billing cycle and 1% cash back on everything else so with that being said at the drugstore what did I pick up I got these like reusable silicone plastic bottles I'm gonna fill them with like my lotion and my face wash I was looking for travel size containers of my face wash and um, stuff like that but I couldn't find the exact one that I use so I thought that these were perfect also picked up one of these like stain remover sticks they're great to throw in the purse if you like Something's gonna get spilled this weekend. And I picked up my favorite everyday like lotion that I'm going to just restock on. So I guess this is literally getting pumped right into one of these. All right, things are kind of coming along. This is like one side of my suitcase and then I'm gonna fill this one now. I wanted to do a what's in my carry-on. Thought this would be a fun segment while I'm still, still working on the outfits. But I think I have most of my carry-on done. Bringing this big old tote bag and it fits a ton of stuff. I used to love what's in my carry-on videos on YouTube. So this is very nostalgic for me. I have a lot of like bags in a bag, but I'm just gonna take things out as I see them. First, I have a hair clip clipped on the outside of the bag. This is really nice. I actually don't even like doing my whole hair up. I'll just do like a little half up situation, like get it out of my face. But 
you know, it's convenient. I have it just like attached right here. I also always have a hair tie in my resume stands. This is going to be my laptop. This is the laptop case. I need to travel with my laptop basically always. It has my whole life on it. I don't know how people do travel without it. I had my book and my book light in here, but I'm realizing that I probably don't need the book light because on the plane they have it and stuff. I just like kind of had it attached because I was using it recently, but I have the current book I'm reading. I always read paperback, you guys know me. This bag here is filled with a bunch of hand sanitizing products. I also have gum in here, which probably is gross to keep with the hand sanitizing products. I also have hand cream, so I have like hand wipes, types of sanitizers, hand cream, and gum. I like to keep stuff like this in a little like plastic baggie because I don't want it to leak all over the bag. Hairbrush, I guess this doesn't need to be in here, but my hair's straight today, so kind of nice. One of my cardinal rules when it comes to traveling that I got from my mom is to always keep your purse in your carry-on, just in case your carry-on gets lost, like you don't want to lose anything that anything that's like too, too valuable. So I always keep like my purse that I plan on using for the weekend or for the trip in my big bag. So I have that. I could also like use this as a purse. I think I'm bringing another purse. Yeah, I plan on bringing that other purse that I have up there on the trip too, but this is like another one that I wanted to bring. So it goes my carry-on. Here is like a mini skincare bag. I'm not going to do it on the plane, but I, once again, just carry on for like fragile purposes. I don't want it to break. I have my gua sha, some facial like tools, oil. Oh, actually I have to make sure that this is travel size. It's only one float ounce. I also have some pimple patches, another hair tie. Once again, in a little plastic baggie and then I'm keeping it in like, this other bag. I keep my jewelry, also my carry on. It's in like this little cute like jewelry holder, nice and safe. Another makeup bag, who's shocked. It's not really makeup in here. This is like tech stuff. I have like my phone charger, portable charger, mini makeup wipes, a pen. This is like the randomness. I have little lip products, face powder, sunglasses. This is very, very random. Uh, like my probiotic that I threw in here. So this is like randomness, but I don't want it all like floating around. So I kept it in this bag. That's the key with this carry-on method of a big tote. So you can just throw everything in it. And that's pretty much it. I have my wallet and my keys and my keys have my headphones on them. So that's nice and easy. I procrastinated back here long enough. I just need to admit that this is done. So here are the shirts, the shirts and sweaters I'm bringing. These are going in the suitcase. And then uh, the pants. Pants. My apartment's messy, which is not not the vibe to come back to, but I'm kind of put together, so I'm proud of myself. Got my car on here, my bag's all packed. Hopefully I didn't forget anything, but it's the type of trip that luckily people are like driving in and stuff, so it shouldn't be the end of the world. Wearing this all black, just like little matching set for the plane. I'm gonna throw on my sneakers. I like the flare pants on this, tying the waistband as we speak. I wanted to thank you all so, so much for watching this video, for joining me on this uh, packing journey. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of a throwback. I like, like showing you guys like what I'm bringing and stuff. It's fun. Oh, I'm gonna throw on this jacket. I packed one little jacket and then I'm gonna throw on this guy and like travel with it. Throw that on. I'll travel with this too. Cute. Love you guys so, so much. And once again, before I end off the video, I wanted to thank City and MasterCard for sponsoring this video. Love you guys and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.